Okay guys, so welcome back once again to the channel of WannaC Outers right here on YouTube. I have a pretty insane news for you guys. It seems like the 2020 Land Rover Defender, the new model that a lot of 4x4 enthusiasts has been waiting for, has finally been revealed. Officially, the reveal or the launch of the 2020 Land Rover Defender uh, was set to Tuesday, the 10th of September, like in two days. It is Sunday, the 8th of September today. But uh, it seems like there's an article that is written by a guy called Mickey Baker. Uh, actually has some new pictures that is supplied officially by Land Rover, which is insane. So that's two days before the official reveal on the, I think it's the Frankfurt Motor Show. You should not hang me up on that, but I think it is actually the Frankfurt Motor Show. So I've been around Facebook, I've been around the internet and stuff like that the whole Sunday right here. Uh, I am a part of uh, different kind of groups in Denmark. I am from Denmark, if you didn't know that. Uh, and uh, also kind of like, different kind of groups in the UK and it seems like this article right here or pictures from the article has been just storming the internet like totally just taking away the internet by storm. I've seen a lot of these pictures today so I thought why not get into deep with this and actually take a look at it and actually kind of tell my opinion on it. Uh, so uh, that is basically what I'm going to go ahead and do right here. We have a lift off that is like the title of the article, I think it is. And uh, there's officially pictures from the 2020 Land Rover Defender, as I said earlier in the video. Down in the bottom of this article right here, you can actually see that we do have, I think it's the 90 inch and it is also the 110 inch actually right here. The 110 uh, is the big one like the long one it's the four door if you didn't know that it has a ground clearance on 291 millimeters that's 26 centimeters uh, i think it's like 10 inches don't hang me on that approximately 10 angels and approach angle is 38 degrees breakover angle is 28 degrees and we have a departure angle of 40 degrees and it has a waiting depth like the water that you can actually drive in without kind of dying or anything like it is actually up to 900 millimeters which is the same as 90 centimeter or yeah i think it's 30 inch or most i don't hang me on the inches we don't use that system right here in denmark we use centimeters or millimeters as you have them so um that is pretty freaking awesome so far i have to say a hey, wait uh just just to kind of feel something about it is I was out with my little brother and we were driving in the Ford Ranger Raptor which is a pickup from Ford that has finally come to the Europe market. So that means that we can actually get that truck or pickup in uh, in Denmark also. It has a ground clearance on 28, uh, 280 millimeters and a weighting depth on I think it was 880. So that pickup truck is almost the same as this new Land Rover Defender, which is truly cool for me. I think it has a good ground clearance. That's a good one. Like 291 millimeters is a good ground clearance, I have to say. And uh, you also have a weighting depth like standard on 900 millimeters. That's also pretty good. That's a pretty deep uh, river, like 90 centimeters. That's pretty deep water, <laughs> it actually is. So uh, yeah, this right here Land Rover Defender is kind of like insane. I think it looks really cool. Also with the original black colorway right there as the one that I do have. Like black, uh, no, do I say black? I mean green of course. The one, I have a 90 inch from 1991 Land Rover Defender 90. And uh, it is has this original green color and the white roof, which I think is essentially of the Land Rover Defender. That's just my opinion, of course, but it looks really cool. And it lo just looks like, if you have a ground color, a black, green colorway and white roof, everybody actually knows what is that kind of car. That is a Land Rover Defender. Yeah, so according to the mark, the prototypes right here were put through 
that's the 62,000 62,000 test withstanding 1.2 million kilometers of traveling through intense heat rumbling cold and dramatic altitudes but enough about the past the future is here available in 110 and 90 variants and they are freaking cool i use the word freaking also a lot because that is right here this vehicle right here or these vehicles is freaking cool that is just insane the new defender features permanent all-wheel drive as the old one with a twin speed gearbox that's pretty cool twin speed gearbox the center differential comes standard, while an active locking rear diff is an optional extra. With the new configurable terrain response system, Land Rover says the experienced off-roaders can fine-tune vehicle settings to perfectly suit road condition, while newbies can rely on the auto function to silently select the best calibrations. Okay, before I actually saw this article, I was like, the Ford Ranger Raptor, it looks pretty freaking evil. But this right here might look a little bit evil. Evil, do you even say that? I don't know. But um, yeah, if you take a look on the next page right here, I can go ahead and take that. That's the one right here where we do have also a sneak preview. Um, I don't know what I should actually say of this right here, but you can go ahead and actually take a uh, cabin that has been made far more comfortable than before with five six or five plus two seating configuration in the 110 and combined with a whopping two three eighty is that 2380 liters of load space with the rear seats folded flat that's probably it it's a lot of loading space the 90 can seat six people the 90 inch can seat six people yeah that's Thanks to a jump seat that pops up in front in the front row. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool also. Um, and I guess there's not much to say about that right there. But the picture right here, out in the it's out in the woods, looks pretty cool too. I I gotta say about the design, maybe it's not looking that evil as, but you can probably modify it so it will look more evil. I don't know about that, but. Uh, you guys can tell your opinions down in the comment section down under this video if you want to, of course. But I think so far it's looking quite good with LED lights in front and the back and so on. So I think let's head to the last and uh, last but not least picture right here as you can see them. Here we do have, I think it is the roof rack that we do have on the top of this. This is the 90SU if you didn't know that and looking quite cool you have like leather seats with that's just a two-seater right here that's shown on the picture you have a spare wheel on the back looks pretty cool to me also you have i think it is unfortunately only automatic gearbox but i that's probably okay if you take a look at the pricing right here, he says, as it stands, the new Land Rover Defender 1010 will launch in South Africa in the first half of 2020 at a starting price of R, that's the probably the valuta or the money that they used in South Africa. That's 910,400. The 90 will launch a few months later at a lower price on the 830,000 of that money i guess um the new defender payload rating on 90 900 kilo a static roof load capacity of 300 kilo and a towing capacity of up to 3720 kilograms that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of kilos that they can actually pull it definitely sounds like a defender regardless of what you think of the looks yeah so i think that the capacity actually do sound like a defender and I do also believe that the looks of this will, I mean, like, it looks like a Land Rover Defender. Um, just, it still kind of has these, like, boxes design right there. It's really cool. Uh, interior upgrade, perhaps the part of the old Defender most directly in need of 21st century upgrade. The new Defender interior is on par with modern Land Rover standards. Having said that, it retains some of the rock appeal of its forebears. New Pyrite Pro infotainment system prom promises to be more user-friendly than ever, adding touchscreen 
sophistications and full suit of okay there's some more pages that i don't have right here i only have like these three pages so that is like probably just as it is i think this is looking quite cool this right here and as i said before you can actually find this on the internet i'm just showcasing it right here you can go ahead and find it if you want to it's looking quite cool and it has been leaked on the web so uh yeah that's pretty cool right here. What do you guys think of the new 2020 Landware Defender that is officially released on 10th of September, September 10, which is two days until, but we got the leaked photos already here. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down under and also subscribe to Wanna See Autos if you haven't done that yet, because we are gonna go ahead and showcase more of these videos in the future. So thanks for watching and thanks for coming here. Thanks, that will be it for this Sunday evening video on the Wanna See Artist channel. Bye guys, adios.